Yo, what's going on, Knicks Nation? It's your boy, come to you guys with a brand new video. Before we get into the video, hit that sub button, like the video, and comment down below your thoughts on this video. We are so close to 1,100 subscribers, so I need you guys to hit that subscribe button. We're like three away, so hit that subscribe button. And let's set a new like goal. In the last couple of videos, you have been getting very close to that 50 likes. So let's, you know, try one more time for this video. So let's get to 50 likes for this video. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So today we're going to talk about Quinn and Grimes and why I think he's about to have a breakout year. Now, this is all assuming that we don't trade for Donovan Mitchell. And, you know, not trading for Donovan Mitchell is not the end all be all. So, you know, if we don't get Donovan Mitchell, it is not the worst situation in the world. And I need you guys to understand that. I'll break down in my next video why it's not the worst thing. So, you know, even if we get Quentin Grimes, we still have Jalen Brunson. I need you guys to chill because that's still an upgrade over yet last year's team. It's a big upgrade. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So if you guys know about Quinn Grimes, you know he's a 3 and D wing and he ranks in the best. He ranks very high in defensive per percentiles. He's a very good defensive player. You've seen it. You know, he locks up the best guys on the uh, on the perimeter side, on the perimeter, and he still holds his own when he's getting to the paint. Now you, you see that he's a 3 and D wing, so you know he's still learning the game. He's still getting better at the game. But if you guys know who Quinn Grimes was, he was ranked as one of the best prospects in his draft class coming out. You know, it didn't work out for Kansas, so he transferred to Houston. We all know that story. But you guys see what he was doing in Summer League. You see him putting the ball on the floor. You see him attacking the basket, doing all these finishes, you know, reverse layups. Just doing, being very aggressive, putting the ball on the floor. And that's why I think he's about to have a breakout year. The New York Knicks are looking to see what exactly Quentin Grimes can do. And, you know, you really won't even have to do that in the starting lineup. I think he's going to be starting at the two next to a Jalen Brunson and R.J. Barrett. You know, if you have R.J. Barrett and, and Quentin Grimes on the perimeter, locking up the best offensive players, uh, best offensive players, that's a pretty good defensive duo. You know, R.J. Barrett can guard your best player. Quentin Grimes is ranks very high in defensive per percentiles. I think he's like in the 95th percentile in defensive stats, which is crazy to think about. And mind you, he shot 38% on threes on like four attempts a game as a rookie. Make it make sense. You know, there's so many things that Quentin Grimes does well for the New York Knicks and exactly why I think he's about to have a breakout year. Now, you know, I might be on my own when I say this. I think Quentin Grimes, if given the right reps and given the right minutes, he could have that Desmond Bain type jump. Now, you know, just don't kill me on it. Don't kill me. I'm just saying, you know, if you give him the right looks and the right touches, he can really be a good player. And I think we're going to see it this year. Now, he's not going to get the same touches as uh, Desmond Bain is going to get because outside of Ja, who's really taking shots away from Desmond Bain? You know, J.J. Uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. is, you know, there, but he's also injured half the time, so he's not stopping it. De'Anthony Melton is good, good, and all those guys are good, but I think Desmond Bain is the second option behind Ja Morant. Now, Quentin Grimes doesn't have that same luxury because we have an R.J. Barrett, we still got a Jalen Brunson, and we still have a Don... Uh, a, we still have a Julius Randle, who are all going to take more shots than Quinn Grimes. So essentially, he's going to be the fourth option. And I think that could work very well for Quinn Grimes. He can still work on his offensive game, you know, in spurts where he can take the ball off the dribble and get to the paint. And he's still a lockdown shooter. You know, Jalen Brunson is very good at attacking the basket. So, you know, we need somebody that can space the floor out. As Julius Randle is not a good three-point shot shooter. Our RJ Barrett is decent. He's still getting better, but he's decent. And Quinn Grimes would be the best shooting player person in the starting lineup to space the floor and i think he's gonna get a lot of good looks from jalen brunson rj barry and uh, julius randall you know getting into the paint and dishing you know paint and swish and dish i think quinn grimes is about to have a breakout year i expect about 12 to 13 points you know it's, it's a six point jump in my personal opinion i think this is possible i think he could do exactly what an evan fournier does but better. He's a better defender, a world-class better defender. And I would argue that he's just as good of a shooter, if not better, if given the right minutes and the right touches. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below if you guys agree with me. Do you guys think Quentin Grimes is about to have a breakout year? And if so, let me know why you think that. And if you guys don't think he's about to have a, a breakout year, why do you guys think he's not going to have a breakout year? And would you start him? Or are you guys still on the fence of him or Evan Fournier? I don't think Cam Reddish is going to start, so... Let's not even mention that. But I think it's either going to be Evan Fournier or it's going to be Quentin Grimes. But yeah, guys, hit that subscribe button. Like the video. Let's get it 50 likes. 
And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, YouTube.